think? Actor Danny Masterson walking into a Los Angeles courthouse today. Just hours later, a stunning verdict returned. The mood was pretty somber. It felt like everybody knew something was happening. The one star of that 70s show convicted of raping two women in instances dating back to 2003 while they were all practicing Scientologists. The jury deadlocked on a third count. For the third, there was a mistrial because the jury could not come to a verdict. It was eight to four to convict. These charges, they have no effect on one or the other. The only question is, will the prosecution retry him for that one and only alleged victim? The convictions after six days of deliberations, a breakthrough after a first trial ended in a hung jury last year. Los Angeles County District Attorney George Gascon said in a statement, we want to express our gratitude to the three women who came forward and bravely shared their experiences. Their courage and strength have been an inspiration to us all. Masterson was deemed a flight risk. The deputies surrounded him and he put his hands behind his back and was handcuffed. His wife, actress and model Bijou Phillips in the courtroom. When the first guilty verdict was read, Bijou Phillips, Danny's wife, let out a sob and then the judge had to ask her if she could keep herself composed. The actor faces up to 30 years to life in prison. It's a stunning fall from grace for the 47 year old who rose to fame as the wisecracking best friend on that 70s show. Oh man, see this is why I didn't want to tell you. You'd get all after school special on me. <laughs> the accusations against Masterson came to light in 2017, more than a decade after the alleged assaults. In 2020, the actor was arrested, charged, and posted a $3.3 million bail. At the time of accusations in the early 2000s, Masterson was one of the most visible celebrity Scientologists. A controversial religious group known for its high profile Hollywood adherents. The women accusing Masterson eventually left the church. During the most recent trial that began in April, prosecutors told the jury the evidence will show that they were drugged, also adding intimate details about the alleged rapes, saying Masterson dragged one accuser across the floor by her hair and sodomized another one. The defense countering in their opening statement that the alleged victim's stories are inconsistent and suggested the women colluded over time, adding that the case is People versus Masterson, not People versus Scientology. The prosecution's strategy in this case was to focus on the Church of Scientology as a way to explain why the victims and alleged victims in this case did not come forward quick enough or in a way that people would think they would have for the defense, Danny Masterson did not testify. For them, it was about inconsistencies, half-truths, and as they argued, full lies. Some of the women at the center of the case reacting tonight to the verdict. Jane Doe number two saying, I am experiencing a complex array of emotions, relief, exhaustion, strength, sadness, knowing that my abuser, Danny Masterson, will face accountability for his criminal behavior. Jane Doe number three, a longtime girlfriend of Masterson's, also speaking out. The jury was hung on the charge connected to her case. She said in a statement, I am devastated that he has dodged criminal accountability for his heinous conduct against me. Actress and famous ex-Scientologist Leah Remini tweeting after the verdict, expressing relief, adding, the women who survived Danny Masterson's predation are heroes. Leah Remini has showed up at this trial several times to be there as a support person for a couple of the women. She's she's kind of been with them throughout all of this. In a statement this evening, the Church of Scientology said the church was not a party to this case and religion did not belong in this proceeding and added the church has no policy prohibiting or discouraging members from reporting criminal conduct of anyone, Scientologists or not, to law enforcement. Masterson was one of the first men that came out in the Me Too movement as a perpetrator of sexual offenses. And so I think for many victims, whether it be those of Danny Masterson or others, this is justice found. Masterson has not commented on the verdict. His next hearing is scheduled for August 4th. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.